Hello and welcome to Wally Bois. And in this video, I will explain with you the difference between WBP and marine grade plywood. Now my background is boat building. And I have seen firsthand the mistakes that my colleagues, you know, they make choosing the wrong plywood for marine use. Well, this applies for any exterior use as well, where your plywood is going to be out in the elements, getting rained on, for instance, and the sun beating down. Now, in the plywood industry, the term WBP, it stands for weather and boil proof. Rather than water boil proof, don't get that wrong. This is a very common mistake that it is. It's even made by professionals. Now, many standard plywoods can easily, you know, pass the four hours of water boiling or even 24 hours if that plywood has been pressed well. Unlike this example I have here. This has been outside and as you can see, it's all delaminated. But the wood is not rotten, no. It's just delaminated. Now that's because the glues and the construction has failed in this sheet of plywood. Now, weatherproof is more difficult, yes, because it requires the plywood to get wet and dry intimately in order to simulate the rainy weather. The most important characteristics of WPP plywood is the fact that it's weatherproof. The WPP plywood, it can stay in fairly good shape in sunshine and rain for fairly long periods of time. And this is because WPP plywood is made with phenolic resin or a melamine glue. Now plywood is constructed of three or, or more thin sheets of wood and they're called veneers, glued together with each layer laid with a grain running at right angles to the next layer. Each sheet of plywood, well, it consists of an odd number of veneer sheets. Now, the cross-hatching of the wood grain makes, oh, well, the plywood stronger than wooden boards and less susceptible to warping. And WPP plywood is one of the most durable plywoods that you can get, except marine grade plywoods. Now its glue can be melamine or phenolic resin, to be considered exterior grade or marine grade. Now plywood must be produced with a WPP glue to be considered as weatherproof. The high quality WPP plywood is made with phenolic resin glues. Now WPP plywood made with ordinary melamine rather than phenolic resin can maintain lamination, the fact that glued, all the laminations are glued together, they stay glued together, but they can withstand that for four to eight hours. Now premium melamine glues, they can withstand boiling water for up to 10 to 20 hours, but Premium phenolic resin glues can withstand boiling water for 72 hours. It is far more superior. Now, it should be noted that the length of time plywood uh, can withstand boiling water without delamination also depends on the plywood veneer quality. Now, this is where marine grade plywoods come in. Now, phenolic glue is much more expensive than melamine glue, but also its strength is far superior too. But what is the difference between WPP plywood versus marine plywood? The two items are almost the same, except that marine plywood is guaranteed void free, and WPP plywood core can be of a lower quality. It can contain some voids. The WPP plywood just needs to have a good enough bonding for extreme weather. Typically, the veneer core of the WPP plywood is not as good quality as marine ply. Now, WPP 
and marine ply can use the melamine or phenolic glues. But where the ply is superior is the quality of veneers and the lack of voids within those veneers. Also, marine ply has a thicker and better quality base veneer compared to WPP. Now, marine plywood is totally premium plywood, that it is, compared with WPP plywood. And that is reflected in its price. Yes, it is pretty expensive. Well, I do hope that I've successfully managed to explain the key differences between WPP and marine grade plywoods. But since you're here, would you be most kind and click like and subscribe? And maybe that little bell icon, because then you get a warm fuzzy feeling in your pocket every time I upload another video. And I know you'll be excited about that. I hope so. But also, if you'll check out our live streaming, because we do, we, you know, we stream our projects sometimes. Quite often, in fact. But also, we have project videos and other tutorials, jigs and stuff like that. Anything that will help you woodworkers. Or people who just want to make things. Like me, I like making stuff. It's fun. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this little video. And like I say, please click like and subscribe, especially the like. Because it really does help the channel. So, thank you for watching. Ta-ta!